You can bet there was a lot of money riding on the Broncos tonight here in Colorado. And tonight, Denver Sevens' Tony Kovaleski is giving us a 360 in-depth look into Colorado's sports betting industry, uncovering some data and details that experts did not expect. Wilson gives Thornton touchdown, Denver! For years, you've known Colorado loves its sports teams. Colorado has won the Stanley Cup! But now we've learned the state may have something it loves even more. Eagles tonight, minus three for 2,000. Since voters legalized sports betting, the industry has exploded. Why, America's number one sports book. And now we have the numbers. Got a couple winners, but awesome. Our 360 parlay card of gambling experts includes one of the country's leading odds makers, Colorado's top gaming regulator, a nationally known expert on gambling addiction, an executive from a Blackhawk sports book, and one of Colorado's many sports bettors. Judy's still going. Let's start with the Broncos, a cash cow for the state's betting sites. That opening Monday night game in Seattle drew lots of interest. Missed it! 88% of the money was on the Broncos, so when they didn't win at the Seahawks, that was a huge win for us. But our 360 review has learned the Stanley Cup run by the Avalanche did the opposite for Colorado's sports gambling sites. When the Avs were winning, it was awesome for the city. It was so great for morale and for sports fans in Colorado, but man, did it cost us a ton of money. And in terms of dollars and cents, our dig into the state's data uncovered a big number wagered since sports gambling became legal back in May of 2020. We crunched the numbers. Looks like in 29 months, $8 billion. It's a lot. Dan Hartman serves as the director of Colorado's Division of Gaming. Billion with a B. I didn't expect it in 29 months. Our 360 dig also found that compared to other states, Colorado bettors are winning more often, or more accurately, losing less money. Why do you think Colorado bettors are doing better than bettors in other states? We're still trying to figure that out. Jay Cornegay is one of the nation's top odds makers. He's well aware of this national data. It shows Colorado sports bettors are winning back 94% of the money they've wagered. That's the second most in the country since sports betting became legal in several states. Cornegay attributes Colorado's success to a pool of informed and experienced bettors. They're very conservative with their, their plays. And so I think that, uh, you know, we, we have our fair share of sharps there. Have you ever placed a bet on ping pong? Darren Elwell is one of Colorado's sports bettors. We asked him about what we found in this data of sports bets made in the state. It's not surprising that the top three sports by amount wagered in Colorado are pro basketball, the NFL, and Major League Baseball. But here's your 360 surprise nugget. Since sports betting became legal in Colorado, table tennis, ping pong, ranks as the ninth most popular sport among bettors, with more than $200 million bet on ping pong. Would you be surprised to know millions and millions of dollars have been bet on ping pong in our state? I know Colorado likes to bet, but boy, that's, a, that's an interesting thing to know. Someone's probably putting a bet right now on the speed of a ping pong player's serve. He's the executive director of the National Center on Problem Gambling. Keith White acknowledges that because sports bettors can wager on ping pong virtually 24-7, it can feed an addict. We still don't think Colorado has a comprehensive problem gambling system. Out of the $8 billion wagered, the state handed over only $130,000 to problem gaming programs. Recently, the legislature increased that number, but White says it's still not enough. Gambling addiction is preventable and treatable, and there's enough money in this system to do that. It's just not being used adequately, and that's the tragedy of it. More for you now on the table tennis issue, because there have been questions about the integrity of ping pong games coming out of China and Russia. Some states have banned betting on table tennis. Here in Colorado, the state's division of gaming has banned wagers on Russian ping pong, but that decision came after the Russian invasion of Ukraine and was not directly connected to any integrity issues. 
Our 360 parlay on sports betting is now complete. I'm Tony Kovaleski. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Tony. And digging deeper into the data now, we found Colorado collected just under $22 million in taxes from sports betting revenue through July. And out of that, the majority, roughly $19 million, has gone to fund Colorado's water plan. The state is also increasing the $130,000 earmarked for gambling addiction programs in 2023, up to $2.5 million, thanks to a grant.